Hello everyone, FunshineX here. Welcome back to another episode of Will It Shine, where we take new release or early access games from the Steam um, store and give them a try, see what they're like, see if they're worth buying, all that kind of stuff, play around with them. Um, just a full disclosure, I was given a, an access key by the developers um, to check out this game and, and put it, produce a video for it. Okay, so Simple Planes, what is it? It's a game that revolves around, mostly around airplanes, but you can also build rockets and um, cars and, and boats too, kind of. Um, but mostly it's around planes. And it's a very, you know, uh, physics-based game. Um, but you can also build your own stuff. Uh, and, you know, it's very similar to Space Engineers, Imperion, you know, Minecraft, where you're kind of building in, in cubes, um, but they have a bunch of other buildables and that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, it's, I've played for, for a little bit so far. It, it looks a lot really, really cool. Um, there's a lot of videos on YouTube popping up, um, so I think it's, you know, going to be one of those games that a lot of people play. Uh, when you first start it up, it's going to take you through the school, teach you how to build, kind of teach you what how airplanes fly, how to use weapons, um, and then there's some practice taking off, landing, and then the first solo mission is kind of a takeoff, circle the, the runway, and then land again. Those are all really easy to go through, but I urge you to do it if you're new. Once you're done, you get races. Uh, there's, um, what, seven races built in by default? Starts off very simple, then there's some ones that are a little bit faster, there's one that's completely a glider, you just start up way up high in the sky, have to get through some uh, some checkpoints down to the ground without any engines at all. Um, there's some other things, let's see, yeah, there's ones that are more about, you know, agility, some that are about speed, uh, trench run, similar to maybe a, a Star Wars type thing. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty cool. Um, one thing I've noticed about a lot of these races is if you use the default airplanes, so let's go look here. Um, if you, here's like the building area so I can like pop off the nose. Oh, I don't want the nose, but look how easy it is to add these things. They're just like, they just kind of click on. You want to add a weapon? Let's, let's put a weapon right, oop, that didn't work. Let's put a weapon on the nose. There you go. Now we have a weapon on the nose. <laughs> so everything's really cool. And if you screw up, there is an undo. Um, oops. I did not hit mean to do that. There we go. So there's an undo weapon. We can put that all that stuff back. Cool. Um, but anyway, so loading an aircraft. Here's the default ones that it comes with. Um, a lot of these, there's not enough just by the default planes to beat all of the missions. You kind of have to, are, well, you're forced to build your own if you want to win a lot of these races, which is good, which is bad. Um, but, you know, start with an easy one like this... Uh, P-51 Mustang's pretty easy. Um, not fast at all, but it's easier to control, maybe to learn. Uh, but it's not going to win any races, of course. Um, so then once you get, you know, if you don't want to play races, then you've got some combat. Um, there's some training missions on how to use your guns, rockets, bombs, and missiles. Um, rockets being, like, no guidance at all. They just fly straight. Bombs just are dummy that you just drop them and they land. Missiles have some targeting um, involved. Um, and uh, locks and that kind of stuff. Then you have dogfights um, where you're using w, uh, World War II fighters, so you can't use any jet engines or missiles, so you're pretty much using guns and bombs. And then there's bomber escort where you're you're flying next to this big bomber and you just have to keep it from being damaged. That one's near impossible. I don't know how anyone could beat it, but maybe if you get really good. Bridge demolition is pretty fun. That might be the one we try out. Um, and then we've got some challenges. So there's a, a bunch of different challenges that give you scenarios. Um, I think it would be good if these challenges had a built-in plane, but I don't know. Uh, but it's, it does say, you know, starting with a certain plane, remove extra weight, that kind of stuff. Uh, and then you've got the sandbox, which is, um, you know, it could just, it's a basic open world, fly around, build your own airplane, spawn in another opponent that you can fight against. Uh, race against another component or there is a download planes when you click on this it'll take you to the steam workshop or to um, simpleplanes.com and you can download tons and tons of planes so we're gonna do two episodes at the beginning and depending on how how people respond to it maybe we'll do more uh, but this first one will just be um, kind of a guide to how to build stuff and how to play the game and the second one will be we'll go and download some user created content and uh, play around with some really cool stuff. So let's get into the game since I've been talking for five minutes and you haven't even seen the game yet. <laughs> let's try a speed. So let's go for the trench run. And we're going to have to pick a plane because I haven't built one. So let's just hit load. What do you think we want to do for the trench run here? Um, 
How about this vertigo thing? I have no idea if it's any good. Okay, here we go. We're already into it. So the controls are very difficult if you do not have a joystick. Um, it doesn't use mouse controls as far as I can tell. Oh, is this a VTOL plane? I, I, I used a VTOL plane. So I can change <laughs> the VTOL angle. Here, we'll see what that looks like as I'm about to crash. But there's a VTOL under this plane that controls it. So this is not a very good one to use. Well, let's get out of here. Um, so let's pick a different plane. How about what we do is instead of do a race, let's do the first solo. Much easier, just so I can show you the, the game. So you have shift is pa um, power up. Control is power down and also brakes when you're on the ground. Um, B is also brakes. Um, it just ki kills your throttle all the way to zero. Um, L being slow motion. That's kind of fun to do. Um, then you've got W for pitch down, S for pitch up, A for uh, roll right and roll left, D roll left, whatever. Uh, and then Q and E for um, yaw or whatever that is. I don't know if that's pitch or roll and yaw. All those weird commands. Um, Z and X do VTOL stuff. And then C changes your camera. So those are your main controls that you'll need to switch um, around. But so to power up, we can't just hit forward, right? That, we've got to hit, we've got to throttle up. So that's shift. And I was just saying earlier, the keyboard, using the keyboard is really challenging <laughs> on this. Because you want to make nice, simple, you know, adjustments. But you hit the keyboard and it's like, you know, way makes your plane just rock. So once we get up to 100 miles an hour, we should be able to lift off by just pitching up here. And it's all physics based, so to turn we you know we have to kind of roll and then and then pitch up to, to turn. Um, yeah, it's kind of fun. I've I've gotten a lot better than I was when I first tried this. <laughs> but you can see if I just barely tap the keyboard, it kind of rolls way over, especially with the 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 pitch. Yeah, see, if you want to make just nice little adjustments, <laughs> it's very difficult. So, uh, you know, a uh, uh, joystick would be better. Even a, a two, th um, I don't know what it'd be called, a joystick that has two thumb controls. So you can control your pitch, your yaw, your throttle, all that kind of stuff. Just like if you were doing an RC car, maybe, or, something, or an RC plane. Um, so let's fly upside down a little bit. There we go. And basically, it's just going to lead us around this island, and then we'll practice landing which we're almost to, so might as well just finish it off. Um, you'll see these little um, court things over here. You can actually fly it with the mouse this way. So if I want to throttle up, throttle down, I can do that. Um, so this might actually be more like flying with a remote control. And I think this game is also available on um, mobile, and so you have to use, like, your thumbs. Oh, goodness. Over there, over there. <laughs> oh, we might miss one. Nope, you got it. You got it. Do a loop. Oh, yeah. I, I own a uh, RC plane, so I'm pretty familiar with controls. And this is, I, this is actually easier to fly this way. Oh, I missed one. Just as I said, I'm, I'm good at this. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Don't miss two. Oh, that turn just killed us. But yeah, if you played on, on mobile, I guess you would be using your thumbs for this. I, I don't know. That's, that's just a hunch that this is what that's for. Maybe it's not. <laughs> okay, we got to come in for landing, so let's kill the throttle by hitting B. We're going to miss another checkpoint. Oh, well. Uh, oops, oops. Uh, yeah, we're going to miss a bunch of checkpoints. So we got to be going under 100 miles an hour to land this thing. Otherwise, when we pitch up um, at the end. Oh, no. It, when we flare, it'll just long, take off again. So let's see if we can at least make the final gate. Yeah, there we go. Looking better. All right, roll that way. Pitch our nose up. There we go. That's looking better. And nice. Now B breaks. Cool. <laughs> so he's landing on the ground safely. We did miss like, a few rings, but that's the basics of, of flying in this game. Um, again, if you have a joystick, it would be much easier. Okay. Uh, so we'll hit exit here. That'll be the, you know, the flying, racing, all that kind of stuff. Let's look at some weapons. Um, I want to do the... Let's just fly around with the bridge, bridge demolition one. Now we've got to load in a, an aircraft with weapons here. 
So this guy, he has a bunch of bombs. He's got some rocket pods, some guns. I don't know what that one is. That one's a missile. He's got quite a few weapons. Um, no weapons on you. This guy's pretty loaded. He doesn't have any um, air-to-ground weapons, it appears, which is all right. Let's try him. Pig pen. Now, if you start the level and it, you're missing something, like it's a bombing level and you play an airplane that doesn't have bombs, <laughs> you're going to notice this gets really loud and there's no sound controls. It's just on or off. So hopefully I'll edit it and post here, but um, here we can also turn down the, the jet engine there. So we've got to hit um, square brackets to, to switch between targets. So we're going to target this bridge here, which is seven and a half miles out. Um, then we've got our um, right or back forward slash, I guess, to switch between off air to air and air to ground. So we're attacking a bridge, so this will be good. Uh oh, I think we've someone's locked on at us. We better speed up so they can't hit us. Please don't shoot a missile at me. If we fly low, I think we can avoid their radar. There we go. Oh nope, not not all the way off. Oh, no. that's that's oh that was close. <laughs> all right, so let's get in our targeting here. We've got to get in the cockpit view. Now we got to target this bridge. Um, I need a different weapon, maybe. No, I don't know. So spacebar does your guns. Alt fires your missiles, which we do not have any that can hit it. Oh, <laughs> cool. I guess we don't have anything that can do air to ground, so we're just gonna have to do air to air, and pretend that we're shooting in air. Attack. Okay, so here's the bridge, and... Oh, dang it, we got shot! <laughs> Darn it. Cool. Uh, let's try this other one, maybe it'll be easier. If we're flying faster, too. So again, air to air. It's alt to fire weapon, but apparently I can't fire it without being locked on. Ah, these are bad. I guess this plane is no good for this level, because I can't fire anything. I've got interceptors and guardians, both require locked on, and I've got no air to ground, so... I think I've been flying with my landing gear up this entire time i played the game. Oh! <laughs> the tank took us out. Okay, so that's not a good uh, airplane for this. Let's try something else here. Uh, where to go? Wasp. The Wasp has some bombs. It's got some... Yeah, we've got pretty much every me every weapon there. Let's try that guy. I'm going to take out the far bridge because it seems like it's easier. Alright, so... Here up. Guardians, interceptors, air to ground. We've got infernos. Let's use our infernos. Oh, you can't hit me. I'm behind a r freaking rock. What are you thinking, tank? Yeah, right. Whatever. I'm not afraid of you. All right. So let's get onto this bridge here. And come in here and let's see we'll get pretty close to it so we're guaranteed to hit it oh don't shoot me don't shoot me go fire no fire something let's just do a big b a bomb let's do a bomb ready and bombs away <gasps> you can't really look behind here I don't know if we hit it or not I didn't even hit her explosion it must have landed in the water uh, we need to turn some engines on. <laughs> We're just basically... Oh, come on. Did we get it? No, we completely missed it. Oh, I just launched my other bomb. Alright, well, let's just crash into it. This is one way to take out a bridge. Suck! 
<laughs> Bridge down. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So, let's see, is there anything else we want to look at? Oh, we want to look at building. So let's do some building. We're going to do just a, a sandbox mode here. Um, so let's just start with a completely new plane. Oops. New, okay. All right, so some cool things you want to know is there is some mirror. Uh, so, uh, a mirror, so if you, like, create the left side, you can mirror it to the right side. There's also something that shows you the center of mass, the center of lift, and the center of thrust. Now in Space Engineers, that they're all the same, but in this game it's different. So your mass is obviously where weight's distributed. Uh, uh, you know, you want it kind of right over the wings. Your center of lift is where your wings are pushing up on. So if you have them in the front, then you're going to do loops. If you have them in the back, you're going to do forward loops. You kind of want that in the middle, um, near your center of mass. But then your center of thrust, uh, if that is in the back, then you're going to, I don't know, it's just, you want to kind of keep them all together. I don't know. Right now they're all together because I have nothing here. Um, but you can say you know, where you want to mirror it, right side, left side. Cancel it. Okay. And then left click to spin around. Let's start building something. So how do we build? We hit the plus sign and we'll go to structural parts. And you can see we've got uh, a, just a block. So we can add a block on there. Pretty cool. This block deforms um, what you put it next to, so you can see it kind of changes as it attaches. Um, the straight block, on the other hand, doesn't, so it, it keeps it nice and straight. So you can do that to straighten all these blocks out if you want. Pretty cool. Then uh, we've got uh, a reducer block. What is this thing? I guess that's... I don't know. <laughs> uh, you use WASD to rotate. Uh, Q and E also rotate. And then you just kind of attach it. And then let's try and... I think you hit M to mirror this block. No, shift M. Hmm. Ah, hey, go back in there. Don't hit escape. How do I mirror this thing? There's all your camera views. Mirror. No. There we go. So that mirrors it. I think there's a key. Let's look at this key real quick. Settings, controls, build mode. Where is build? Designer. Here we go. So rotate, nudge, undo, redo, mirror. Control M. Ah, I was closed. Ah, I was close. So let's take this part off, and then if we select that, Control M mirrors it. No. <laughs> okay, it lied to me. Fine. But what one thing's cool is if you take like this whole part off, you can you know it all comes together, and you can stick it on somewhere else. There we go. Nice. Okay, so that's our, our plane here. Let's add some wings. So plus sign wings. We've got a pylon. This part can only attach directly to wings. All right, so we can't, well, technically it said that, but really we attached it wherever we wanted to. Okay, I don't know what that thing is. Let's get rid of it. <laughs> Long version of pylon, nothing special about it. Primary wing. All right, so let's add some primary wings to our plane. We'll just attach them right there. Beautiful. Now when we select the wing, now we can adjust it. So I can make you know, a big, huge wing. If you want like a stealth bomber look. <laughs> cool. Let's, let's, let's do something really funky. Let's make a, a wing that... Maybe that's a little too big. Something like that. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> and then let's get a stabilizer right on. Is that how we wanted it? No, that's not what I want. I want a vertical stabilizer. Why is that not attaching? Can I rotate? There we go. 
Beautiful. That's what we want. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea if this is going to fly. It will not fly, I guarantee it. Mirror that over there. Yes. Why is that not my weird? Oh, look at this. You can change the wing shape if you're storing fuel inside it. Um, if How big the... What, whether the control service moves when you yaw or roll. You can invert it. You can edit the shape of the control surface. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> you got to know kind of some advanced um, flight mechanics to, to get those settings all right, but that's okay. That is awesome, though. So we can edit the di dihedral. Oh, that's what I wanted. I want to put it out like that. Okay, cool. Oh, I keep an escape. Okay, I got to get rid of this escape button. Why did it not merge this, though? That's what I'm a little concerned about. Mirror this to the left side. There we go. Okay. That's our plane. Now we need to add some kind of engines to it. So let's hit the plus sign. Go to propulsion. We can add a fuel tank on here. Yep, there's our fuel tank. Um, let's put a jet engine on this guy. Um, how about the Blasto BFE? Yeah, look at that guy. Oh. <laughs> Where can we attach this guy? Oh, I guess right there. I kind of want to attach it somewhere under here. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> now let's put it over there. And we'll put, let's see, right click to drag. Another one over there. Okay. And then we need, we've got some, I think we can fly with this, but let's do, uh, let's see, cockpits. We already got a cockpit. Gizmos. Look at this. Camera, orbit camera, detector, floating block, rotator. Wow, there are some cool stuff. <laughs> I'm anxious to look at the user-created content because they'll know what all this crap is. Um, but if you create something really cool you can and save it as a sub-assembly, then you could you know use it later. So if I created a really cool wing and then I wanted like six of them, I could save it as a sub-assembly. Um, landing gear. We do need landing gear. Uh, retractable landing gear. That's not going to work with our engines, so that's not going to work. How about large retractable landing gear? Cool. <laughs> and let's add just some generic uh, structural... Um, what else do we got? Nose cones? There we go, fuselage. Yeah. This thing is hideous, guys. Oh, I can't uh, rotate. There we go. <laughs> uh, that's the back of my plane is the funny part. Uh, there we go. All right. Look at this thing. It's beautiful. Let's put some corners. No, nope, doesn't look good with corners. Let's try riser block. Oh, that's kind of cool. Now, I think what I want is just the generic block here. Nope, not you. Hey, stop, stop, put it there. Nope, put it there. There we go. Okay, that's our plane. That's our beautiful plane. We got to put some kind of more landing gear on there or it's going to fall over. Who, who cares if it falls over? Yeah, this thing's awesome. We're going to fly this baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Ready? Shift. Maximum propulsion. Oh, holy crap. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah. All right, well, that was fun. <laughs> so here's what we learned. Well, we need to look at our uh, center of mass and all that kind of stuff. So we can see that our mass is too far forward. Um, so what we need to do is maybe move our wings back a little bit. Let's just attach them right there. Okay, center thrust is there. 
That's not bad. You should move. Hmm. No, undo, undo. Hey, go away. I wish I knew more about the center thrust. I think in the training it would have told you, but let's see if this is any better. Nope, still got problems. <laughs> awesome. <sighs> cool. Well, we're about done, guys. I Obviously, I wasn't trying to build an amazing plane. I just want to show what you can do. There's tons of little parts. You drag them in, and you build a plane, and it crashes, and maybe you go download a plane that actually works. <laughs> so if you guys like this uh, this game, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. Definitely, we'll have more space engineers, but we'll just play this every once in a while when really new, cool content comes out. Uh, if we get a ton of likes, maybe I'll, I'll play it a little bit more and de uh, design another plane that crashes. <laughs> and uh, go check it out on Steam. I think it's definitely worked. It's pretty cheap. I think it's on sale um, right now. So go check it out. This has been Fun X for Will It Shine? And this game definitely shines. Catch you guys later. Bye.